as you might notice here, I bought another truck. Big shocker, right? I got this back in like the middle of November. Drove over 300 miles one way. Bought it for a thousand bucks. And believe it or not, it runs and drives. It's the first thing I've e even bought that can drive up onto a trailer. Everything else had to be winched or lifted or jacked up onto a trailer just to get it home. And then normally chained to a tree and then you drive ahead and just drag it off of the trailer. But no, this was a change for once. Uh, runs great. It's a 360 FE with a 4 speed. Just like my other two uh, bump side Fords. Like uh, that mint one over there. But uh, yeah. She came from an area with a lot of salt. So unfortunately. She's just real happy. Cab mounts are starting to go. The floors are completely gone. But uh, other than that. Really good shape. Somebody had a plow on it back in the day and they actually did a really nice job at making the plow mount. It's completely removable. You just got to take the bolts out. But yeah, I really like that. It's got another plow pump, just like the other one that uh, I use. So that's good. Got a spare if I ever need it. Yeah. This uh, 1969 grill is just pretty good. Not too bashed up like most of them. These these tin ones seem to last better than the uh, plastic ones that they went to in 70 to 72. The guy I got it from had big, huge bogger tires on it. So the fenders have been bashed out and clearanced for big tires. And he said... He turned one time and the, the tire caught the fender and like tore it all up. And he tried to uninstall it with a sledgehammer and, and failed at that. So that's why this fender is just kind of holding on there. But uh, yeah, not too bad otherwise. These are some classy old uh, extra traction bias plies. They're actually non-split rim. But they got inner tubes. I've never seen these rims before. And this size of tire is pretty rare too. It's like uh, 750 by 17. And they're nice and tall. And uh, this is a high boy obviously. But they it really sits up higher with these. It's been off of the road since uh, 1993. I found some old insurance paperwork in the glove box, but no title or anything. The guy couldn't find the title, but that's no big deal. I had to deal with a missing title on the red one. It's not too bad of a process, but I know how to do it now. But yeah, there's snow in here, but the, the bed's actually really solid. The only defect is... Uh, Somebody cut it out to get to the leaf spring or something. So that's totally Alaska style on that. Bumper is pretty good other than this corner here, but I think that can be straightened. And it's got these cool tie downs. And another thing is somebody's added a lot of leaf springs to this truck. A couple in the front also. And it's got really nice coil over shocks. So this would be a perfect one to set up for towing stuff because, you know, it's got that big stack in the rear. So it's really nice. But yeah, all complete underneath. The four-wheel drive works. Everything works great. I'm actually going to take these drive shafts out and put them in the red truck because those are, uh, the splines are all worn out and they're uh, not too happy anymore. So I'm going to run these in it. And this 360 has dual exhaust that are straight pipes, so that's mint too. And then you can see a couple more leaf springs in the front than normal, if you're familiar with these trucks. Yeah, the rust is kind of sad. 
But anyways, I've been wanting to learn how to fix rust, so it'll be good. Can't quite get the door open unless you do this. The interior was completely trashed, full of garbage and dirt and dust. And I cleaned it all out. And uh, it's not too bad. I can't believe I got another one of these trucks with a primo seat that's not all torn up or worn out. Yeah, uncut dash. Classic old plow control there. Nice fancy door panels. I really like this thing. I'm not not regretting the thousand bucks I paid for it. You know, there's definitely way more than that in parts here, but knowing me, I'm going to fix this thing up and put it on the road because I can't part out something good like this. But uh, buy some floor pans for it. Cut these out, weld them in. Got to do the, uh, I forget what they call these, but yeah, I got to cut that out, do that. The rocker's not too bad still solid but yeah right in here I think that's called the pillar or something and it's a custom cab another thing I like about this thing it's got the west coast wide mirrors and it's got the clearance lights which you rarely see it's kind of a uncommon thing to see on these trucks So that's cool. Still got the antenna. You never see those either. People just tear them off on trees or whatever. And this is, back to the plow mount, this is like one of the best plow mounts I've ever seen. You know, I've seen a lot of cobbled together and sketchy and completely way too heavy for the front of the truck and it ruins your suspension type setup. But this one's really good. And uh, this has a steering shock also. So this would have been a pretty nice truck in its day. So yeah, let me open up the hood. It's like, well there's some snow in here, but uh, completely all original, practically untouched. Runs amazing. A lot of rust in here too, but that's uh, to be expected. That's a common spot. Same with where the hood hinges are. That one's actually been patched. And then the radiator supports all rusted out. But that can all be dealt with. Got a lot to start with here. So it's like negative 10 outside right now and I tried to start this thing yesterday and the battery was dead but I can uh, do a quick swap on that and see if she'll start. Alright I got a battery in it and the old rule in Alaska if you take your dipstick out Make sure it's got oil in it to begin with. And if the oil drips off of the stick, it's safe to start it without plugging it in or putting heat on it. So it's negative 10 right now. And I'm going to assume it's not going to drip off of the stick because it's got 1040 in it. But we're going to start it anyways. It's a Ford. It can take it.
locked up heater core or whatever. But yeah, everything works. Clutch in it is good and everything, so really lucked out with it. Yeah, she's just a great old truck. Runs great, starts right up every time. Yeah. Now I have three uh, Ford F-250 high boys. It's pretty cool. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to be uploading some more of the 1942 Chevy Revival videos pretty soon here, so uh, watch out for those. Hope you're enjoying those. That's old footage, but uh, should be entertaining. So yeah, big, big plans for this truck in the near future. Definitely want to get the rust fixed and, uh, you know, fix up the cosmetics on this thing. Make her look a little better. But, uh, yeah, really happy with the purchase. It's a fun truck. And glad I was able to save another one. So, yeah.